Welcome to Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. I am your host, Sean McMean, and today's episode is all about Google reviews and the fact that they keep taking reviews down that are legit on your Google Maps profile. It's a constant problem that I hear all the time, and you're not alone. This isn't just any podcast. This is your secret weapon for dominating the market. This is the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast, and this is your host, Sean McMean. If you're a damage restoration owner or a home service contractor, I hear this from our clients. I hear it from people in the industry. Why did my legit reviews still keep getting taken down? And what I can say to you is that Again, you're not alone in this aspect. It's it's a common problem that's happening right now. And Google's not really telling us what they're doing or what why they're causing things to be taken down. What we do know is that there's some telltale signs, typically, um, what they're trying to do. And there was a recent update that happened at the end of November, beginning of December of 2023. What they're trying to do is they're trying to fight back on spam listings, right, and spam reviews. And so they seem to be making a blanket statement of reviews being submitted on desktop are getting removed a lot of times. And it's the whole premise of if you went out to a restaurant, right, um, most of the time you're going to use your cell phone, right, and you're going to submit a review after having a bad experience or a good experience out of business. And so one of these things that seem to be a telltale sign is that they're removing even legit reviews that have been posted on the desktop and it's a it's um there's way too many instances that are that seem to be falling in line with that so if a homeowner you ask them through a an email so let's back up a little bit one of the things that um we always recommend is asking for reviews from a cell phone right and so you send them a text message And those reviews seem to be sticking better than the reviews that are being submitted on a a desktop application. So, and the reason why some of these reviews are being submitted on a desktop application is because people will send an email over to ask for a review. And I highly, highly recommend you change that strategy to be sending a text message. And, and it's going to not only combat this review cleanup that Google's doing, um, but it, it seems to be that the, they're going after data, data center or desktop IP addresses when they're doing these review sweeps. Can't tell you that for sure, but that seems to be some of the telltale signs that I'm reading um, and, and seeing the tea leaves off of that. So here's our review strategy that we recommend is you have a postcard, a four by six postcard, and you put a QR code on that postcard and that QR code goes directly to your Google Maps listing. So you can have with that. You can also send text messages and your last resort would be sending email um, asking for that review. If you do send the email, what I would recommend is that you send the email to only at Gmail addresses and um and and so that will that will give you a little bit of you know confidence that they're going to submit a google review for you because they have a gmail account and and that usually works better the other thing that i would say is that don't just ask for google reviews ask for reviews on yelp on facebook on angie's list home advisor all of those profiles online you can ask for reviews all over the place so spread the wealth in 2024 make sure you're spreading the wealth to other platforms as well clearly google is the biggest factor where you're going to get your um seo rankings and and authority from and that's where the most people are going to be searching from but don't just put all your eggs in just google's basket so spread the love out across other platforms and you'll see some success online with that but as far as getting going back to Google with those reviews and saying, hey, can you add them back? I haven't seen much success adding those back. Heck, they won't even remove um, spam uh, reviews that have been posted negatively about your company. So the way we can combat this is going about getting more reviews, more reviews, more reviews, and getting them via text message. That's what I'm gonna be recommending in 2024. 
And for now, this is the end of the episode about why my Google reviews keep seem to be disappearing and how I would combat that in 2024. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. You've been listening to the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. Sean's not here to just talk the talk. He's walked the walk with a track record of helping over 70 damage restoration companies and engaging in over 500 conversations with industry owners. He's seen it all from digital marketing triumphs to the most ingenious growth hacks. He's got the keys to the kingdom and he's sharing them with you. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, for more, hit the website at restorationmarketing.com. See you next time on the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast.